What's going on YouTube? Alex from MotorLife.com and today I'm going to show you a little bit about jack shafts. Kind of what they are, how they work, what they do, how to work them. Well, if starting off, there's two main parts of the jack shaft. There is the actual bracket with the gears that switch from the drive gear, uses the jack shaft to actually put the drive gear down to this next part, which is a double chain ring sprocketing, uh, it's, there's a sprocketing gear in there that actually separates your pedals from your actual chain rings. So uh, pretty much when you stop pedaling, uh, your chain rings can still move, so you don't have to keep pedaling as fast as your actual motor's going. Um, I bought this kit from sickbikeparts.com, and this is the H, the HD uh, retching uh, freewheel chain thing. Uh, I recommend getting the HD ones, especially if you're using high compression head or something, because you will blow up this gear down here, and it is a pain to change. You can see, like I mentioned before, here's the main part of the jack shaft, and you can see this drive gear connects to this big gear, and you can get these and these in different sizes to change your gear ratio depending on how you want it. You can see it moves from this side, spins with the bike, and actually transfers the power over to this side, and you can see this double chain ring on there, the bike's a little dirty. This actually transfers power to this chain, which then makes it so you can use all of your gears with your regular bicycle derailleur and shifters. Now it doesn't necessarily make it faster, it just makes it so you can lower the RPMs as you're going. Uh, if you are installing a jack shaft, you will have to measure the distance between this cog and the engine to get this tight and you have to measure the up and down distance to get this chain tight on the chain ring and this drive gear uh, so you will have to put it together and take it apart probably four or five times to get everything correct in and in place and tightened up uh, there's three little u-clamps on here that actually hold the whole deal to the engine like I said, it doesn't necessarily make it faster. You can make them go as fast as you need, but it makes it just so you can lower the RPMs. I had a couple of viewers kind of want to see how they work and uh, uh, kind of wanted to do an uphill battle with the jack shaft to show, well, one, to show this huge uh, mega range first gear, which definitely get me up a hill and uh, get me going. So let me see if I can get off this bridge here and uh, get a good ride. I'm gonna ride down the street and then up another hill. So uh, see if we can get this thing going. All right, let me see if I can do a little speed test. Then an alpine hill climb. One thing I do have to mention, you can't bump start the bike. You have to pedal start it. So there's something major different between Jack Jack and Wrangler. Getting a first, let's see what we can do.
tell. in the video before I did just increase the gear ratio by 10% so uh, it goes up hills in first and second you see I got the third but not very good for straight up alpine hill climbing good for top speed but you can also buy different gears to lower or raise your gear ratio so if you do live in an area that has lots of hills you can really make it an alpine hill climber with a different combination of both gears and jack shaft gears, you can really make your, your bike as fast and more of the acceleration and the acceleration that you need. Let me see if I can get a good start here. Down the street. Sometimes the flight's kind of fucked. Now I'm going to say right now I do not promote jack shafts uh, because they're not legal everywhere. Um, and you can really get yourself hurt if you skip gear, blow chain, do whatever. Be careful out there. Stay safe, everybody. Comment, like, subscribe. Uh, in the comments, tell me what you want to see next. This was kind of a viewer video. So, uh, yeah, keep watching my shit. Thanks.